it's it's important that we have a nonprofit arm out there. And, and for the record, I'm not a member of the Friends of the Library, so I just want to make Why that not? clear. I am not. Well, be, for, he doesn't know where the money goes. I am not. Well, be, for, he doesn't know where the money goes. I am not. Well, be, for, he doesn't know where the money goes. We have two applications for appointments. Sandra Fleet wasn't able to be here this evening. Ms. Elizabeth McDonald is here. Would you like to come forward, Ms. McDonald? Good evening. Good evening. Would you like to explain your interest in the Council on Aging, please? Um, yes, I've worked in health care since 1995. Um, last year I had an incident and I hurt my back. I've had surgery and I will not be turning to work. Um, so I'm looking to do something with elders since I am not able to work anymore. Does anybody have any questions for Ms. McDonald? For the record, I'd just like to state um, that the board is a courtesy request the input from the boards and commissions to which we make our appointments on this application the Wareham Council on Aging and Senior Social Services has voted not to recommend the appointment of Liz McDonald. Um, Ms. McDonald you're aware of that they, they, their preference correct? Yes. And you still like to be on their committee? Yes I would. Any discussion? Go ahead. Mr. Holmes. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, you know, first I would like to thank you for volunteering, and we are friends, as you know. Um, but I'd like you to talk a little bit about your ideas on where you think you can help the Council on Aging, if you don't mind. I had my hand up. Here, so Sorry. If you wouldn't mind, Liz, just talking about what some of your ideas are and how you think you could help the committee um, on the Council on Aging? Um, the Council on Aging is to, they're governed by the, the Mass General Laws and some things by charter, to help with existing amenities, whether it be transportation, um, social services, outreach, um, and I would like to help build the bridge between the services we offer, making them better, building them up to serve more of our seniors and get more seniors to come in and participate in the programs that are currently offered. Thank you. And my second comment, Madam Chair, in regards to this letter that was sent to us, the Board of Selectmen, and I don't need to tell the Board, are the appointing authority in Wayham for some boards that are not governed by the Charter. This letter uh, first never states why they didn't recommend Mrs. McDonald, nor that it, does it ever say that they ever met with Mrs. Fleet. Um, he gives a history of board and people who have resigned and over arguments and all this other sort of stuff never addressing the fact that Mrs. McDonald seems to be interested in the position. She doesn't seem to be violent. And, um, and so I'm not really sure where he's going with this letter. I, did, I wasn't looking for a history lesson. We gave the chairman a time to uh, give a courtesy interview to a candidate. I happen to follow this one, as most of you know, and I'll say it publicly now because I did send an email to the board. While following this, I encountered secret votes, open meeting violations by the Council on Aging in, in regards to this application. And I just think it was a travesty. What we talked earlier about having volunteers come before this board to volunteer in town. This young lady volunteered on April the 7th. And since then, this has been a nightmare. I take some, most of the blame for that because I misunderstood our third week rule for the month of June, and I apologized for that last week, and I'll apologize again today. Um, and, and, uh, but I think that uh, you know the discussion we had earlier about looking at our policy, we are a policy board, 
and making new, newer policies on these appointments and just getting them printed and written so when someone comes in, they can get a piece of paper that says, here's what you're about to encounter during your journey to volunteer your time for the town for free. Um, I think that that would be good. And that, after discussion, I'll make a motion to recommend Mrs. McDonald and Mrs. Fleet. Is there any further discussion? Any questions for Ms. McDonald? Madam Chair, I... Yeah. Mrs. McDonald, thank you very much for coming forward. I, you know, I, I also know you, and I know that, you know, you're you're kind-hearted, caring, responsible person, and and this is exactly, you know, what we're hoping, you know, will will come forward to serve on boards. I do have one question, um, Madam Chair, and I'm not sure if this is the appropriate time to ask it, but it, it does have to do with the letter. Um, on the last page of the letter, it does say that. If you look at the second to last paragraph, about halfway down, beginning with however. However, with the addition of Alan Slavin last month and Sandra Fleet this month, we this board has not yet, while I don't think we have any intention of not appointing somebody, we haven't yet appointed um, that individual to my knowledge. And, and that, I, I, I take a little bit of, a little bit of issue with that. So, actually, I take a lot of issue with it. But that's, you know, once again, maybe a conversation for another day about how this whole process works. But I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Other than that, I, I don't have any comments other than thank you. Thank you. I don't really know why Mr. Boucher wrote the letter that the way he the way he did, Miss Winslow, and I don't see him here this evening to answer any questions. Um, I would suggest that your question be best addressed to him. As far as my own personal interpretation of that is that his assumption is that we would probably be going along with the recommendation that they made, um, as opposed to not going along with the recommendation that they made. Um, that's my only thought. Um, anybody else have anything? If, if, Mrs. Ekstrom. Thank you. Um, Ms. McDonald, um, Mr. Holmes asked you, you know, what, what your ideas are, what you'd like to accomplish. I'd like to ask you on those things, how do you, how do you expect to accomplish those? I mean, this is an advisory board. You're not in a position that you'll be doing outreach. That, I mean, as an advisory board, um, you know, your job is to discuss the needs in the community, to see what the needs are there, and then bring those recommendations as a board forward for the Council on Aging Director to um, to do on the day-to-day -day basis. So I, I was just wondering, like, how, when you're saying that those are the things you want to do, I was just wondering how, how you expected to do those. Were you looking for anything specific or just general? Well, you you had you had answered Mr. Holmes, and you had said that that you want to um, see. I should have gone right after Mr. Holmes. <laughs> you had said about about um, the different programs that they have and things like that, and that you wanted to be involved with those. And I was just wondering, how do you see yourself being involved in those? Um, through brainstorming the other board members, um, what has worked in the past to get 